Hello, the mission officers. I'm Ho Kai Yan from Hong Kong PolyU. Today, my presentation topic is construction of convertible bond classification indexes in Chinese market. I will first introduce convertible bond, existing index, and my index, illustrate relevant reasons, explain the whole construction process, and eventually show their results and implications. The main implication is that low price and balanced convertible bonds are worth of investments. First part is introduction. Convertible bond, compound for short, have both low interest rate and option for stock conversion. Right now, the only existing index for Chinese compound market is CSI compound index to reflect the market performance. What I want to construct here by Python are compound classification indexes. There are two bases for the classification. First is compound close price. According to different prices, I classify the bonds into high, medium, and low. Second is compound conversion parity. It's the relevant formula. According to different parities, I classify the bonds into balanced stockwise and bondwise. Second, I like to illustrate the reasons for the indexes. First, the total market value of Chinese compounds is surging, which can be proved by the significant increase in CSI compound index. Second, the majority proportion of the index is bank compounds. The second picture shows eight out of top 10 compounds are issued by banks. Thus, this index pattern highly relies on variations in bank compounds and fails to measure the whole market consisting of different industries. So, because compounds has both stocks and uh, bond portions, its close price, etc., cover valuable information such as stock and bond market performance. Third, so, construction steps. Sample range is all compounds listed in SASE and SSE. An outstanding market value of each compound should be larger than 30 million Chinese yuan. The index's base date is the last trading date in 2016 because compound scale of the whole market is significantly enlarged in 2017. The calculation formula is here. However, the divisor needs to be corrected, which is called divisor correction. The specific formula is shown. The situations for correction are listed, including change in outstanding volume or market value, list status, and the interest payment. Fourth part is data preparation. I need to extract daily data from wine and drink quant database and keep them in local files. I adjust their data format to facilitate computation. The picture shows the data format for convert price like a pivot table. Fifth, index calculation. I gather data for a specified time period initially and update it to present time if needed. The first two pictures show part of data reading and update. To compute the index close, I use for loop and if else if to judge whether divisor correction is needed for each trading date. The last two pictures are related to changes in outstanding volumes and interest payment. Sixth part is results and implications. This page shows compound index based on uh, commercial parity. The blue line is index for balanced compound. Obviously, this bond outperforms, which indicates that on, under the protection of bond, pro, of bond portion, this compound will offer relatively high return. Stock-wise ones are highly volatile and similar to a stock performance, and this and thus investors could trade them for arbitrage. Bond-wise ones are more like pure bonds. This page shows compound index based on close price. The green line index for low price performs the best. So traders may use compound close price as a factor to judge the poten uh, growth potential of any compound in the relevant trading strategies. In conclusion, Chinese compound market is thriving, and the low interest payment attracts more companies to use compound as a financing tool. Thus, these classification indexes could help investors master the performance of compounds with different styles and make investment decisions on buying balance one with low close price for high return or trading stockwise ones with close price as an indicator for arbitrage. Thank you.